former driver, been trucking for 27 years. We bring seven, eight trucks every year. The trucks are coming from uh, the Horfield, Pennsylvania, uh, Jendel Farms. It's a huge farm up in Pennsylvania. We've been coming out here for 10 years. The mayor of the Union City give uh, free turkeys uh, to the people. It's fun because we know what the turkeys are going to be for. Last year we did 26,000. We seek donations to the Civic Association where people will donate anywhere from $5 up to maybe $1,000. We spend probably about $375,000 a year on turkeys alone. I wish that I had the resources and the funds to do it all over New Jersey. I mean, obviously you would, you'd have to be, you'd need tens of millions of dollars to do it. It was something I started when I was very young even prior to my teenage years. But you know something, I look forward to it. As much today as I did back then. My mom was a superintendent of a building. A large building, 82 apartments. My dad worked on a railroad and he worked part-time jobs. And I grew up in that type of an atmosphere. It was always a hard working family. It was common that my mom and dad would bring canned groceries to neighbors who lived in the building, who maybe were down in their luck, they lost a job, or maybe it was a single parent household at the time. And I started to pick up on that. And I noticed that there were families that needed extra. And I began to start developing interest in civics when I was probably nine or 10 years old. My mom and dad always told me, respect people that don't have much, people are poor. My mom and dad always told me, you don't discriminate on religion, you don't discriminate on somebody's ethnic background or the language they speak, and help people that need the help. I think back now, my mom and dad both passed on, but they gave that to me. They pretty much said to me, help other people. That's what it's all about. One year I came up with an idea, I said to my mom and dad, why don't we help people with turkeys? And it was a little expensive for us to go out and buy turkeys for people. So my dad helped me and he said, look, you get an allowance, I'll help you with your allowance, and I'll help you on my own, and we'll buy some chickens. We started out with 20, 20 chickens that we gave out to people in the building where we were living, and also in the immediate area. And then each year after that, I wanted to do more. And it then developed probably at 17, 18 years old, I started giving out um, turkeys to people. Some years I would take a pension loan to purchase turkeys, so I would be able to buy 30, 40, 50 turkeys. This is 12, bro. Well, what we're doing here is we're ensuring that um, all the turkeys that are on the truck are accounted for. So we get the uh, invoice from the truck driver, and we literally go through every pallet and every box and ensure that the appropriate amount of turkeys are in the boxes uh, to make sure that the total adds up. Each truck, it depends, but on average, this truck in particular that we just unloaded had a total of 2,592 turkeys in it. I remember first starting out going to ShopRite, and then ShopRite couldn't accommodate the number of turkeys when we got into the thousands. They were like, you know, maybe you should deal direct with the distributors. And then we started looking around for different distributors and farms and stuff. People said to me, why don't you buy a turkey farm and just breed your own turkeys? <laughs> the distributor that we have now in Pennsylvania, he's able to accommodate because of the size of him being a major distributor. But even to this day, they're surprised at the number of turkeys that we do. And um, we even asked them to leave a refrigerated truck because obviously it's got to be kept cold over the few days that we give these out. Listen up, please. Make sure, make sure that every turkey has one of those um, parts inside, on the bag. What we do is that we put the turkeys in bags in here. Each one gets a separate bag with a card, so that way um, Brian Stack could actually distribute them into the residents. Each resident of Union City gets a turkey and some people in Hoboken as well as Jersey City. 
Yo tengo 35 años aquí en este país y siquiera desde que comenzamos, comenzamos con un poco y ahora estamos con una abundancia de pavo. Antes no, no me eran pocos los pavos que se pedían. Ahora son miles. Union City is the most densely populated city in the United States. There's a lot of poor families that live here in Union City. A lot of families have migrated here, you know, from other countries just recently, and they're just trying to make the means. They're just trying to get by. El Perú. Y en Perú se celebra el Día de Acción de Gracias. No, pero sí celebramos la Navidad, precisamente con los eh, famosos pavos. ¿Y qué, qué creen tú de Acción de Gracias? Eh, dar gracias a la vida, ay, dar gracias ay. a todos. Yo nací en Cuba, vine en el 80, en Cuba no se celebra Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving para mí significa dar gracias a todo lo que hemos tenido durante el año. Soy de República Dominicana, eh, estamos aquí, en mi país no se celebra el día de Thanksgiving, pero sí el de las navidades como común en todos los países de la América Latina y del mundo. I'm originally from Palestine, Jordan, I'm, and we don't celebrate Thanksgiving there, but here we all come together to celebrate Thanksgiving and help one another regardless of your religion, regardless of where you come from, your background or your origins, we all come together to celebrate Thanksgiving and be one, one community. I couldn't imagine being in another country, not speaking a language, being totally by yourself, you know, trying to fend for yourself, being discriminated by other people against you. And how do you make ends meet? And how do you survive? This is a fantastic community event that takes place every year that the mayor has been organizing for over more than 20 years. And over the years, the community has grown around this incredible event, supporting all of the needy people in our community and now in other communities nearby. Lo mejor que podemos hacer el Día de Acción de Gracias es ayudar a la comunidad, como estamos haciendo, como ustedes ven, llevarle comida a aquellos que no tienen. Eso es un recurso que hace la alcaldía, el alcalde, los comisionados y toda la comunidad se ha volcado aquí a trabajar. Esa es la mejor forma en que podemos dar gracias y llevarle una sonrisa a la gente. Soy puertorriqueña y me siento bien contenta por estar en este evento celebrando este día. Nosotros para ayudar a repartirle a toda la familia su pavito para que puedan tener un lindo día de acción de gracias. I'm from Guatemala and we don't celebrate Thanksgiving over there, but here in Union City we do. I think it's very important this time of the year not to just be present with your own family, but for other families everywhere who aren't as fortunate as we are. So to share that joy and that love with everybody else and give where they can't have, it's a blessing. The first year I started doing it, I would give out my home phone number at the time, which was my mother's phone number. So I was, I was living home with my mom and dad at the time. I was very young, my teenage years. And I would give out the phone number and people would call. Then I said, wait a minute, this is getting too big. Even when I was at a couple hundred turkeys, my mom and dad can't be answering the phone taking turkey orders, you know? So we set up... Um, the old-fashioned um, recorder where people would call in, I would get the messages. I remember it would only take like 20. I'd have to make sure like every few hours to check in and take them off because people would get upset that they couldn't leave a message. Oh, okay, de qué hora, mamá? Tú, tú vas a estar presente. A la una. Now what I do now is we have three or four cell phone numbers set up where people call into and we take it down. Here in this office, we are compiling a list of all of the people who have called the phones and requested turkeys. We put those lists into Microsoft Excel, we sort them by area of the city, and we send them out in cars with uh, people who can deliver them directly to the houses. And we call the people, we follow up, we make sure that they got their turkey, and we also make sure that any issues are taken care of. If somebody calls for a turkey, look, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're hungry, you're hungry and we'll help you. Well, since I've been doing it, there's always been a lot of turkeys, but every year uh, the number seems to shock everybody. And also every year, on the day before Thanksgiving, we're usually sitting in this office and the discussion has never been anything other than how many extra turkeys do we need to order. And that's usually the night before Thanksgiving. So right up until Thanksgiving, we're delivering turkeys. Many times we'll be going to shop right the last minute to put it on a credit card or whatever we can do to give out the additional turkeys if we need five, 10 additional turkeys. And it's something now we've expanded throughout, not only Union City, but throughout the county. Watch out, watch out.
watch out, watch out. Move out the way, move out the way. Open up. Careful. Get the turkeys in the pallets. We unload them. We put them in individual bags. Then we load them back onto the pallets. All these that are here right now are already ready to be distributed later this afternoon. And as you can see, we still got a whole lot to go, but it'll get done. What happens here happens nowhere else in the country. It's amazing to see the amount of volunteers coming together to feed the needy within this city and surrounding districts. It's incredible. Check one, two, one, two. I mean, it's, it's a nice thing because that's what building a community is about. That's what helping your neighbor is about. And I hope, if anything, at the end of the day, when all this said and done, people say, you know what? The community became closer. We're more of a close-knit community today. Whether you were here 10 years ago and got a turkey, or 25 years ago and got a turkey, and you're still here today, or whether you're a newcomer who moved in last month, that's what it's all about. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we have a lot. We have a lot of work to do today, everyone. We're going to be out there all day today, delivering. I know we have some people that are going to go in the cars, but we need the bulk of the people to come either with Justin and I or Chris. We're going to have two teams out there trying to get a lot of the areas done today, and we're going to have some people doing it by car. As soon as we get the other pallet out of the way, we'll bring out another one. You good, Dave. At this time, all of our volunteers are lining up with their cars. We're going to give them lists of areas that they have to go to. We'll load the turkeys into the cars, and then the volunteers will take them to those locations and deliver the turkeys. All right, so how about I give you 20 turkeys and you'll be in the West Street okay. area? How's all right, all right. Good. Perfect. Where did you go? This way, you know, you make one run. Yes, you know? yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You've got the right hat. Yes. <laughs> we get in the spirit here. Yeah. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Get those back. Nine. Ten. One more. Eleven. You're set. We're gonna give you ten turkeys. Here's the list. Bring me back the list. Check the off. Okay. All right. If somebody is not at home or you, you're hanging on the doorknob, okay? Okay. Or you can try to call them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fourteen turkeys. You're going to fortieth uh, and Bergen Line. Forty-one in Bergen Line. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Bye. We're going to be starting right now. We're going to walk down to 15th and Palisade. I want everybody to stay together. Nobody lagging behind three or four blocks. we got to stay together. Once we start on 15th and Palisade, I'm going to be directing people where I want you to go. As long as we stay organized, we're starting a little earlier this year, we'll get finished earlier. Please, just stay organized. Listen to, when you're going to go into a building, listen to direction of what floor you're going to be doing. That's super, super important, so we know exactly what we're doing. We don't want to miss anybody. Basement apartments, just like the flyers. Get them under, make sure when we go, I was going to say get them under the door. <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling inside, just to help somebody and have that difference in their life. I mean, it, for me, it means more than money can buy. It means more than anything material I could receive. It's just that feeling of being able to be there for somebody and help them and put a smile on their face is priceless. 18, When I'm out there on Saturday starting the first day and giving them out, and I have 50, 60 people walking the streets with me, and we have two box trucks following us, and we're handing them out from the trucks, it's a tremendous feeling. And people beeping a horn and saying, Happy Thanksgiving, and people saying, Hey, can I come and help you? 18. Everybody. <laughs> we got two here. Two. One, two, one. Let one get this one, Pedro. One's got two. Hi, my friend. How are you? Hi, uh, How is everybody? Happy Thanksgiving.
Putting a smile on people's faces for Thanksgiving is an awesome feeling. Dexter, ¿qué tal Thanksgiving? Muchas gracias. Qué bueno. There's no strings attached. Listen, whether you vote for me, don't vote for me. I did it long before I was the mayor. I hope to do it after. I hope not to leave as mayor soon, but I hope after I'm the mayor, I'm still a part of this. And it, there's no strings attached. It's just a nice gesture to the community to say, hey, we care about you, and we should celebrate Thanksgiving together. It's over here. It's over, over here. here. Celine, you got to lead the way, man. Come on. 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 What's your name? Three. Pedro. No, no, two. What, two? Go ahead. Go. You guys go inside. Okay. Ryan. Ryan. Okay. Ryan. Okay. You guys. Got one. One. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. You guys stay here. Let's go to the other side. Okay. You see gratefulness in people's eyes. You see a lot of surprise out there. I got my turkey! I got my turkey! Seven out of ten times, it's the same people every year getting the turkey. It's still that element of surprise, that element of gratefulness. You can see in people's eyes that they appreciate it, and you could also see the need. There's definitely a need that's out there. Muchas gracias, alcalde. You don't have to love your neighbor and be best friends with your neighbor, but look out for each other. It doesn't cost anything to say hello to somebody every day. It doesn't cost anything to check in on an elderly neighbor to say, hey, are you okay? You know, think about it. What I do for somebody else, I would want somebody to do for me. And my mother and father always taught me that as a young kid. They said, Ryan, the way you treat people, 99% of people will treat you back nice if you treat them nice. You know, you're always going to get somebody who's, you know, in anything, they may not treat you the same. But overall, what you, what you give in life, you'll get back in life. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? You again. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I will. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> people ask me all the time, how do you do it? It's a lot of work. It's well worth it. When I sit down to have Thanksgiving with my family, it's just a great feeling knowing that other people are having Thanksgiving too. One, two, three. I don't have a large family. But if I had no family and I was all by myself in this world, then I wasn't Brian Stack involved in Union City and a mayor or a senator or just somebody involved in the community. And somebody came to me and offered me help and I had no one to go to, that would mean the world to me. I have turkey like everybody else. We're usually home for Thanksgiving most times. I like being home on Thanksgiving. You don't know how that turkey, that gesture of the turkey, opened up another avenue for them to maybe come forward for help with another problem. And now being the mayor and giving out the turkey, that's been in hundreds, if not thousands of cases, where I've become friendly with people after that. I've helped them with problems that they've had. They became volunteers for me. They, they've gotten involved in the turkey drive or gotten involved in a children's Christmas party. To me, helping somebody is really what it's all about.
Raúl. Raúl, eh, ¿qué te llevó a hacer este documental? Déjalo que termine de matizar. <risa> Raúl, ¿qué te llevó a hacer el documental? Eh, buena pregunta. 